What is up, people of YouTube? My name is Jayman, and welcome to Miners Love Games. I am super pumped to play this, really. And once again, what is up? For me, it is my ceiling fan. Five blades, two little light chain thingies, four light bulb things on my ceiling. Ceiling fan. Lights are on. And now they are off! So yeah! That was me closing my door if you heard anything. So yeah! Apparently this game has been rated very highly. I told you guys earlier a while ago that... Hold on, let me get everything in place. Um, I told you guys a while ago that I would be playing Amnesia of a Dark Descent. Amnesia of a Machine for Pigs and Outlast. So, got 60 bucks, spending it all on this crap right here. I mean, Outlast, Machine for Pigs, and this indie game that's in early, early, early alpha called The Dead Linger. Um, I'll be doing a play for a, a little showcase of that as well. Anyway, so yeah. Don't expect a lot of new games because my dad is currently out of work because America's government has shut down America but anyway I'm not gonna get into politics because you people are still saying here play the goddamn game so I'm gonna do that so yeah adjust the game by moving the slider into the logo on the left is dark and the character on the right is barely visible I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it like this for you guys. Um, Right, right about there. Sorry. Okay. Let's have a look. See. Okay. Show prompts. Invert. Toggle. Crouch. Volume. Show subtitles. We're going to do that. English. Difficulty. Normal. Graphics. Textures. Low. Full screen. Resolution. Restore defaults, so... We're g let's see what happens if I set these to medium. Probably nothing. Right. Okay, controls. Yeah, okay. Alright. So, yeah. Playing this at night. Um, dark. Lights off. Got my turtle beaches on. My headphones with my microphone on them. Volume's good. Not loud enough to cause hearing damage, but... Yeah. Also, this is going to be the launch episode for J-Man's Horror Halloween, ha Horror Halloween 2013, where every year in the month of October, I will be doing scary, scary stuff from, from the first day of October until October 30 frickin' first, uh, everybody. So get ready for a month long of scares and screaming and stuff, because I'll be doing scary games, um... Scary stuff and creepy pasta reading. So get pumped. You're about to hear me screaming like a little girl for a long time. Also, sorry for the lack of Minecraft videos. Um Yeah, I've been talking way too long. Um Sorry for the lack of Minecraft videos, they take a while to put together. But anyway, let's get on this with this. Warning! 
Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are miles upshore. That is the most... Never mind. An investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out a dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay along, stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To nap, you are not a fighter. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Also, this is a blind playthrough. I stayed in my amnesia. Of what the fuck? Ah. Uh, tunes in this being center. September 17th, 2013, from a whole lot of numbers at mute at mutemail.com to milesupshore at gmail.com. Subject, tip at illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consulting at Murkoff Psy Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Terrible, terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been w waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. So that's what brought us here. Okay. Now my cam, my batteries, the badass camera. Oh, we got some Marble Hornet shit going on here. Miles up shore. Okay. Oh, cool, I was driving a Jeep. I think Jeeps are badass. Okay, and picked up... Uh, notes. Documents. A whistleblower. Okay, yeah, the frame rate might be a little... Let me... That should be better for you guys. It's still... Game still looks bloody fantastic. This is mo 
Miles Upshaw reporting on Mount Massive Asylum. It's extremely fucking creepy. We'll report later. Okay, let's see here. That's kind of sad, really. It looks like... Looks like, um, someone's kid drew something. I- this is a completely blind play- playthrough. Sorry if you're getting a little wind blow. Um, to open the door, blah, 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 to open the door slowly, hold down, move forward or backward. Yeah, we'll just leave that up. Miles up, sure, recording again. It's extremely creepy as usual. Nothing else to report. Mount Mass of Asylum. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. <clears throat> Mount Mass of Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. Single. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity. But never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Jay? Jay? Alex? Alex? Guys, I'm just fucking with you. Are those, those are military vehicles? I saw Markiplier and Rad Brad's uh, first two parts on this, but that's as far as I've gotten. Everything else is blind. I've avoided anything and everything about this in a machine for pegs. Right. Doors locked. Hello. Okay. This is getting creepy. Oh, that is cool. You usually don't see like the full body thing. Wait, over here? No, no. Nice jacket, dude. Not really. Oh, cool. Yeah. Miles Upshore reporting in. There's like three military vehicles outside with a radio still squawking. Like reporting on something, getting dead air. Door is still locked. Malmass of Asylum. Door is still locked, no one's answering. I got a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> okay, wait, now here's the way in. Here's the way in. But, you know, I'd be more worried about what made the gigantic, f the big fucking hole in the gate than about going through it. Seriously. I'd be more worried about what made the hole than going through it. Oh, well, but I've said this before on other people's videos. Don't try and insert logic into video, horror video game, in video games. It just doesn't work. Okay. Work. Like a bouse. I guess I'll just be recording. Yeah, it's recording. Right. Okay, I can get in through there. Uh. 
Oh well, a reporter has to find other ways, I guess. You see, this is the part where the security guards would appear and be like, Hey, do hey, sir, you can't be here. And Vin would be like, Okay, uh, right, guys, I'll be going then, and Vin will leave. And nothing bad would happen. And we'd all just leave happily and not have to deal with any satanic ritual shit. There we go. Well, that's fucking fantastic. Manage it well. Okay. That is blood. That is a lot of blood. Okay. Alright, we can get through here. Alright. We'll leave that open. Okay. Alright. Now Zupshore reporting. That TV just turned to gone by itself. Maybe I should leave and go home. Have a nice cup of coffee and watch Warner Brothers cartoons. Yeah, that's what I'll do. No, no. The truth must be revealed! I am not on my medication right now, so if I'm acting nuttier than usual, that's why. Yeah, you see, this... This stuff, right here, right here, this stuff, right here, bloody footprints, bloody hand marks, this is the part where I turn tail and leave. Oh, hey, battery. Battery, yay. Uh, holy crap! I think a woman's on her period! Yeah, I keep believing that, not Miles. My mom just walked in, has that absolutely no regard for, um, the, the fact that I'm recording something. Looks like someone tried to call somebody. Alright, let's, uh, see here. Alright. Light! Thank you. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. Project Wallrider. Mount Massive CO. Case number 174. Patient initials WPH. Billy. Consultation dated 2012-1014. And October 14th? 2012, it's October, how timely. Initial age of patient, initial date of patient consult, 2000, April 12, 2009. My birthday's on April 9th. Creepy. Patient age, 19. Gender, male. Observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR. Therapy status. Patient claims their progress to self. Okay, she walks right back in. Patient claims to progress to self-directed lucid dream states. Morph morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no... Ah! My mom flipped me the bird. You're laughing your head off right now, aren't you? Diagnostics. Spirometry reveal no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and, e and, and or NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. <clears throat> God, this is killing my throat. Billy asked again about the status, asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. 
This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Trager. Note, the only Trager on company records, one Richard Trager, Trager is, an, is an executive from MRD. All earlier leads and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometric. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive CO. Yeah, so apparently they modeled these asylums off of actual asylums. And, like, the bad guys in here. Yeah, someone didn't answer the phone at right. Um, apparently... A214, right? Um, apparently... Um, based it off of real cases of criminal insanity. Creepy, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Hello? Hello? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just an investigative reporter. I'm not... You're confusing me with another kind of blood-sucking parasite. Those are lawyers. I have nothing against stubborn lawyers. I don't want to know. I don't need to know. I don't want to know. Don't even want to know what that is. Avoid contamination. Wash your hands. Right. Right. So. I guess we gotta go into the blood soaked vent thing. me I am glad to have come up here whatever that was probably not a good thing did I miss something over there Man. oh well no I was up short reporting and I'm pretty sure you've just seen whatever I just saw Something is not right here at the Mount Massive Asylum. More to come. I am, I am not afraid to admit that I am highly scared right now. God help me. Okay. Alright, we just gotta go through here. Jesus, Mary Joseph! That still got me. God. Well, this escalated quickly. Mother of Christ. It's a bloodbath. Just, oh, God. No. What the f I hope at least some people got out. Maybe that informant, the whistle. <coughs> they killed us. They got out. The berries. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Okay, audio glitched there for a second, and I think it kind of added a bit of a creepy effect. Right, that guy's wearing riot cop armor, and he got freaking Vlad the impaled. 
for those of you who don't know, Vlad the Impaler, Count, real Count Dracula, needs to impale his enemies on wooden uh, sticks. I mean, like, stakes. And just leave him there and to slowly die. Apparently, once this army tried to uh, invade um, Dracula's area, but there were so many bodies and it reeked so badly that they had to freaking leave. That eventually, before they were even halfway there, they had to turn around and leave because the smell was so bad. Okay, wait. I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Ling, their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research System. Murkoff's long-time M.O. Has been the profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? I found some, there, there's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. So there's no turning back. We just gotta unlock the front doors, get out of here, call the National Guard. Uh. Oh. Lovely. We're just gonna... Don't slam it! Guard! Bodies... Everywhere... I... Don't... Want... To know... I... I don't... I just... Wanna find the... Gate area and get out of here... Miles up short reporting in... I'm not turning this thing off... Oh god! No! Oh, holy crap! Holy crap! I can fly! No, I can't! And who Hello? are you, then? Hello, creepy, weird, crappy, cultist person. I... I see... Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main door. Notes. Okay. Sorry if the audio is glitching out. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, I think this is as good of a stopping point as any. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want more, like, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think in the section below. I'd love to have. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Anyway, guys, this has been Outlast. I'm J Man. This has been Miners Love Games, and I will see you next time, everybody. Stay awesome.